Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance. Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radio, hatid namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan, ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Doña Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This. 106.3 DWBRFM. Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe that science is the way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity and how the world develops and works today. Science, this is your class and this is science. And now, here is your host for the day. Okay, good afternoon, our dear learners. Uh, welcome to another fun-filled learning experience with Scientific Time. Okay, so this afternoon, we have uh, with us today the Scientific Grade 10 teachers. Okay, uh, Sir Ronnie. Okay, magandang tanghali sa ating mga learners. Especially sa mga grade 10 learners na hinawakan ko sa 10 Nara, 10 Rutherford, Mahogany at ang 10 Yakan. Mamir na? Okay, yes sir. Thank you, Sir Ronnie. Sir Prince. Uh, yes, uh, dito na naman po kami. Uh, gusto kong batiin yung mga estudyante ko dun sa 10 Mendeleev at 10 Einstein. Uh, nasend ko na sa kanila yung link kanina. Sigurado nanonood na sila. Okay, shout out sa inyo mga ading ko sa 10 Einstein at 10 Mendeleev. Makinig kayong mabuti ha kasi exciting tong lesson natin ngayong hapon. Yes sir, tama si Sir Prince, exciting ang ating lesson ngayon at balita ko, meron pa tayong uh, demonstration na mangyayari mamaya. Okay, Ma'am Jen? Yes, hello, magandang magandang hapon lalo na sa mga estudyante kong 10 Kamagong at 10 Jimilina. Alam kong nakatutok na kayo mga anak, so stay tuned hanggang matapos ang ating live discussion mamaya. Okay, thank you Ma'am Jen. And of course, sa aking mga anak, from 10 Sinagtala, 10 Obra, and of course, 10 SPJ. Good afternoon, mga anak. And I hope naka-tuned in na kayo. And as uh, requested, no, sinasabi ko sa inyo to, let's stay until the end of the live discussion. And of course, sa lahat ng grade 10 learners na hindi man nabanggit dito ang inyong section, okay, welcome, welcome to this scientific time. Okay, Sir so Ronnie. Sabi nga natin kanina, very exciting ang uh, topic natin this afternoon. Ano nga ba yung mga matututunan ng ating mga learners this afternoon? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, ito sa lahat ng topic, ito yun medyo naiiba sa mga topic ng previous discussion natin kasi magmula sa module number 1 hanggang module number 4. Ay, four. Tama, magkakadugtong yung mga yan. Magmula sa energy, sa light, sa mirror, sa lenses. Pero ito, ipapasa bigla yun kuryente, mga motors and generators. Kaya nga, in the end of the discussion, um, this two, uh, ang objective natin, explain the operation of a simple motor and generator. So, dapat malami lang pa paano nag-operate, pa paano gumagana yung motor at yung generator. Di ba sa RBI, ma'am ma Mirna, uh, diniscuss na yung paano gumagana yung simple operation ng motor at ang generator natin. Okay, yes, thank you Sir Ronnie. O ayan mga my dear learners sa napaka-applicable nitong ating topic this afternoon. So, okay, uh, sabi ko nga, please stay tuned. 
walang iwanan And thank you in advance dun sa mga makakatapos. Okay, so here's our RBI lesson for the week. Dance Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio Sa Aurora Isabella Edukasyo'y susulong Sana magtulong-tulong Susulong itong kalitan Dance Radio Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe that science is a way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity of how the world develops and works today. Science, science, science. This is your class, and, and this, this is science. Good day, our grade ten learners. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful day. Despite the pandemic that has affected our lives. I appreciate that you're so eager to learn new things. This is your school on the air in science. It's science time! It is a great honor that you can join us in having fun while learning through radio. I am Teacher Riofe B. Magawai, your radio teacher in science. Please prepare your self-learning module 5 in science, as well as a pen and paper. The topic of today's lesson is the operation of a simple electric motor and generator. Wow! I'm hoping you are all set to listen and learn. He learned in the previous modules that mirror and lenses are part of our daily lives. We can find mirrors and lenses in the department stores, dental clinics, and even in our own houses. Can you give some practical applications of mirrors? Ma'am, dentist uses a concave mirror in magnifying the area behind our teeth to check on cavities and tooth decay. For illuminating purposes, we can see concave mirrors used in headlamps, Plus lights and spotlights. Very good! In these devices, the light rays gathered from a small source are collected and directed outward in a beam. A small light source bounded by a concave mirror flashes a brighter beam. Who can give other uses of a mirror? Ma'am, a car side mirror is an application of a convex mirror. It enables the driver and its passenger to see the vehicles behind. Also, while in most supermarkets and in some convenience store, you may notice mirrors hanging on corners from which you can see your reflection and those of other people. This is also an application of convex mirror. Excellent! Convex mirror has a wider view field compared to a concave mirror. What about the lenses? Can you give some of the practical applications? Ma'am, among the applications in which convex lenses are used is found in compound microscopes. A microscope is an instrument that is used in viewing small objects and microorganisms that are impossible for our unaided eyes to see. It uses lenses that can magnify objects 100 times or even more than a thousand times. Very good! 
Microscopes are quite useful in the classroom, particularly in biology lessons. What are some other uses of lenses? Concave lenses such as eyeglasses and contact lenses are used to correct myopia or nearsightedness. Very good! It appears that you thoroughly enjoyed and understood our previous lesson. Our new lesson today is about motors and generators. You are expected to explain the operation of a simple electric motor and generator. So buckle up as we dive into the fascinating realm of science. What do you normally look for to cool off on summer afternoons aside from cold water and soda? Ma'am, I turn on the electric fan when I need to cool down. Very good! What else? Ma'am, I use our air conditioning unit. Very good! How about when you are bored at home? What do you usually do to get rid of it? When I'm bored, ma'am, I listen to music over the radio. When I was bored at home, ma'am, I used my cell phone to talk to my friends. Wow! What similarity do you see between the appliances and gadgets you mentioned? Electricity is used to run the television, cell phone, electric fan, radio, and air condition sets, ma'am. Nice observation! What happens to electricity when an electric fan is used? Ma'am, the electricity is converted into mechanical energy. Exactly! What is there in the electric fan that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy? There is a motor in the electric fan, ma'am. Very good! The electric fan, cell phone, air conditioning unit, television, and radio that you mentioned used an electric motor. Do you know what is going on inside the motor that makes the fan rotate that way? And you have probably experienced when at one moment, you're watching your favorite program on TV and on the next minute, you're groping in the dark because of power interruption. At such time, you may have wished you have a candle or a flashlight so that you could see in the dark. How can you make a steady flow of electricity? Hmm? We'll try to answer all these questions regarding how motors and generators work. Let's talk first about the generator. Who can define a generator? A generator is a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy, ma'am. Very good! A generator produces an electric current when a coil of wire is wrapped around an iron core and rotated near a magnet. Uh-huh! But how does the generator work? Do you have any idea? Modern generators can be attributed to Michael Faraday's principle of electromagnetic induction, ma'am. Faraday discovered that when a conductor moves in a magnetic field, electric charges could be created and directed to create a current flow. Excellent! Basically, an electrical generator is nothing more than an electromagnet. Moving wire near a magnet to direct the flow of electricity. It's similar to how a pump pushes water through a pipe. Uh -huh. There are two fundamental types of generators. The alternating current or AC and direct current or DC generators. What are the differences between AC and DC generators? Alternating current generator produces alternating current electrical power whereas direct current generator produces direct current electrical power ma'am very good what else in the direct current generator the current flows in one direction whereas in the alternating current generator the current reverses periodically ma'am 
Excellent! Do you still have additional idea about the differences between an AC generator and DC generator? Ma'am, another distinction between alternating current and direct current generators is that alternating current generators are used for small domestic applications. Whereas, direct current generators power large motors. Very good! Different components are required for generators to function properly. Can you enumerate the various components of electric generators? The main components of a direct current generator are stator, rotor, commutator, brushes, and shaft mam. Excellent! Without these different components, the generator will not function properly. It looks that you have done a lot of research on generators. We are done discussing the generator. We will discuss the electric motor after this short break. COVID-19 has caused loss of lives and economic hardship all over the world. It has changed our habits and the way we live while testing our public health systems and impacting on our livelihoods. With this, the role of environmental health practitioner has never been more vital as we face up to the ongoing challenges this pandemic. Many changes are about to happen for a greener environment, more equal and more stabilized economy. COVID-19 pandemic has resulted numerous impacts on the environment and climate. But amid this crisis, we have a chance to build a better community and environment. Hashtag Healthy Environment Hashtag Healthy Community It's Science Time! You're listening to Teacher Rio. I'm back! Before discussing electric motors, we will do the activity on page 5 of your module titled Electric Motor. The pictures on page 5 are objects commonly found at home. All you have to do is figure out which has an electric motor. I'll give you one minute to complete the task. Trivia time! Trivia time! Around 600 BC, the Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus experimented with electricity by rubbing together pieces of amber. The term electric actually came from the Greek word electron, meaning amber, and it first appeared in print in 1646. In 1879, the first street was lit by electric light bulbs, mostly street in Newcastle upon Tyne. This interesting fact is brought to you by TechWorldServices.com Kaagam, Donya Aurora National High School and this station. It's Science Time! You're listening to Teacher Real. Are you ready, my dear learners? Yes, ma'am. What are those materials with electric motors? Ma'am, a water dispenser, motorcycle, oven toaster, flat iron, wall clock, stand fan, projector, and laptop, ma'am. Excellent! What about materials that do not have electric motors? The materials that do not have electric motors are vase, garbage bin, helmet, and adjustable wrench, ma'am. Good job! Please describe the materials used in the electric motors. Materials with an electric motor need electricity to function, ma'am. Very good! Let's end.
answer the third question on your activity. Describe the materials which are not using the electric motors. Materials without electric motors don't need electricity to function, ma'am. Very good! Now, class, what do you think is the role of the electric motor in the materials or appliances? Electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy, ma'am. You are correct! It seems that you are now prepared to move on to our next topic, which is the electric motor. Based on the previous activity, who can define an electric motor? Ma'am, electric motor is anything that changes electricity into motion, meaning electrical energy into mechanical energy. Very good! Do you have an idea how electric motor works? Motors work through the principle of electromagnetism. If you run electricity through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. If you coil the wire around a rod and run electricity through the wire, it creates a magnetic field around the rod. One end of the rod has a north magnetic pole and the other has a south pole. Opposite poles attract one another as poles repel. When you surround that rod with different magnets, the rod will rotate from the attractive and repulsive forces, ma'am. Excellent! Danish physicist Hans Christian Ørsted began a new scientific era when he discovered that electricity and magnetism are linked. He showed by experiment that an electric current flowing through a wire could move a nearby magnet. Uh-huh! There are three main parts of an electric motor. Who can give the parts of electric motors? Ma'am, the three parts of electric motors are the rotor, stator, and commutator. Exactly! The motors cannot function properly without these components. Like the generator, there are two fundamental types of an electric motor the alternating current motor and the direct current motor. Can you give the differences between AC motor and the DC motor? In the alternating current motor, the source of power is alternating current supply mains. Whereas, in direct current, motor power is obtained from batteries. Alternating current motor works on the concept of alternating current, whereas direct current motor works on the direct current. The main source of the alternating current motor is current coming from the three phase or the single phase supply mains. The sources of the direct current motor are batteries and cells, ma'am. Very good! Can you give another difference between the two types of electric motors? In alternating current motors, no commutators and brushes are used. Whereas, in direct current motors, this play an important part in their operation, ma'am. Great! Another difference is that AC motors are suitable for large industrial applications whereas DC motors are suitable for domestic applications. At this time, let's have some exercises. I read the sets of questions and you give me the correct answer. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. For question number one, an electric motor is a machine that converts electrical energy into blank energy. What is your answer? Hmm? Mechanical energy, ma'am. An electric motor is a machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Very good! Next question. What do you call an energy converting system that transforms electrical energy into mechanical movement? Electric motor, ma'am. It transforms electrical energy into mechanical movement. Very good! For the last question, 
What are the three basic parts of an electric generator? The three basic parts of an electric generator are the rotor, stator, and commutator man. You are correct! You are really paying attention to our discussion. At this moment, draw two overlapping circles, a Venn diagram on your paper. Label the first circle as an electric motor and the other circle as a generator. Compare and contrast electric motor and generator using the diagram. I give you a minute to answer. Timer starts now! Trivia time! Trivia time! Did you know that fireflies create light by converting their food into chemical energy? And their light is more efficient than a typical light bulb. Other creatures that can do this include the deep sea squid and glowworm. This interesting fact is brought to you by TechWellServices.com, Kaagam, Doña Aurora National High School, and this station. It's science time. You're listening to Teacher Real. What are descriptions of the electric motors you have written? Electric motors use electricity. It converts electrical energy into mechanical energy and the input is electrical mom. You are right! What about the descriptions of generators? Generator produces electricity, converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. The input is mechanical man. Correct! What about their similarities? Ma'am, both electric motors and generators have a stator and rotor, and coiled mounted on axle within a magnetic field. Wow! You're doing a great job! That concludes our lesson for today. Now, let's see if you actually did pay attention to our discussion. In this activity, all you must do is to write the letter of your answer. I will only read the question once. You are given 3 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Which of the following is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy? A. Electric bicycle B. Rice cooker C. Microwave oven Or D. All of the above hmm? Letter D, ma'am All of the above Electric bicycle Rice cooker and microwave oven are devices that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. That's correct! Number 2. What do you call a device that transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy? A. Electric charge B. Electric generator C. Electric motor or D, electric current. Hmm? Letter C, ma'am. Electric motor. Electric motor is a device that transforms mechanical energy into electrical energy. You are right! The correct answer is letter C. Number 3. He was credited for discovering that electric currents create magnetic fields, which was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. A. James Maxwell B. Michael Faraday C. Hans Christian Orsted Or D. Alessandro Volta hmm? Letter C, ma'am. Hans Christian Ersted. He discovered that electric current create magnetic fields, 
which was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. Very good! For number 4, what are the three basic parts of an electric generator? A. A commutator, stator, and motor shaft. B. Armature, brushes, and battery. C. Stator, rotor, and commutator. Or D. Battery, armature, and DC power supply. Hmm? Letter C, ma'am. Stator, rotor, and commutator. The three basic parts of an electric generator are stator, rotor, and commutator. Excellent! You got the correct answer. Lastly, which is not a distinctive attribute of an electrical generator. A. Electric generator turns mechanical energy into electrical energy. B. Electric generator turns electrical power into mechanical energy. C. It provides electricity. Or D. It is based upon the electromagnetic induction theory. Hmm? Ma'am, electric generator turns electric power into mechanical energy. And that is letter B. Electric generator turns electric power into mechanical energy is not a distinctive attribute of an electrical generator. Very good! Do you understand the relevance of electric motors and generators in our daily lives given all the facts you have studied about motors and generators? I'd like you to take a look around you. Identify one object in your home with an electric motor and explain its significance. Washing machine, ma'am. It makes doing laundry a lot easier. Refrigerator, ma'am. It helps us on preserving our foods. Electric fan, ma'am. It gives us comfort during hot and stinky weather. Drying machine, ma'am. It is used to dry our clothes. You are right! What else? Radio speaker, ma'am. It is used to produce audio output that can be heard by the listeners. Very good! You are all correct. I'm sure you have a lot of thoughts on the importance of electric motors in our daily lives. How about the importance of a generator in our lives? Generators can be used as backup power for your house, standby power for businesses, and temporary power in a construction site, ma'am. Very good! You now see the significance of electric motors and generators in our daily lives. We're done with the lesson. That's all for now and I appreciate your time. I would like to acknowledge the teachers behind the School on the Air lesson. Sir Ronnie G. Avalos, our script writer. <laughs> Sir Prince Donerich Bugawisan and Mom Annabel A. Rodriguez, our content editors. <laughs> Mom Rosabel R. Brillo, our language editor. <laughs> Mom Riza and Marzan, our technical specialist. I am Teacher Yufei B. Magawai, your radio teacher in science. <laughs> Remember, for your own safety, stay home and follow all health protocols. Thank you and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay tuned for our live discussion. Nanang makakapigil pa Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio
sa Aurora Isabela. Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe that science is a way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity of how the world develops and works today. Science, science, science. This is your class. And this, this is, is science. science. So we're back. Uh, we're back. <laughs> Welcome back, my dear learners. Ayan, tuloy. Nabulul ako dun, Ma'am Jen. <laughs> Ayan, welcome back our dear learners. Ayan, so Saroni, can you give us a review of our last topic? Okay, so last uh, RBI natin, last slide discussion natin, we discuss about the lenses and and mirror. So of course, we discuss natin dun yun, ray diagram. Yung mental tawag na loss, yung pag... Uh, describe ng location niya qualitative description the sir. size and the type of the image so sa concave mirror actually concave mirror ang tinutukan natin ng pansin niya sa ray diagram niya kapag BNC si, oh BNC si tayo yung position ng object the position of the image is between F and C pero doon sa ray diagram natin ang ginamit natin last time ay F and to F. Tama? Then, the size of the image diminished. So, ibig sabihin, mas maliit siya. Then, real and inverted ang ang orient type niya. Real siya, then the orientation is or uh, inverted. Kapag at C naman, yung position ng object The position of the image is also at C, the same size as the object, then real and inverted. Real ang type ng object, then the orientation is inverted. Pero kapag ang object naman ay between C and F, the position of the image is beyond C. So kung i-describe natin yung, yung size niya naman ay enlarged. Then the position, ay the orientation niya ay inverted. And it is real. Then kapag at F naman, then the position of the image at infinity na siya. And large, then real and inverted. Real ang type niya, the orientation of the image is inverted. Then between P and F, the image is behind the mirror. And the size of the image is enlarged. Actually, itong position na between P and F lang ang virtual and erect. So, karamihan sa kanila ay real na pero itong position na between P and F, virtual and erect siya. Then, next slide. Ito naman sa convex mirror. Actually, sa convex mirror, hindi natin in ray diagram itong convex mirror. Pero, for the sake nung last discussion natin, dinescribe pa rin natin yung image niya. So, mostly kasi pag i- ang, i- ang image dito, karamihan ay virtual and erect lang ang image ng ng convex mirror. Yes. Then, kapag ang position ng object ay at focus, mas maliit yun, yung image niya. Kaso nga lang, virtual and erect. Pero kapag ang position niya ay between P and F, ito naman, very small, ma- maliit lang din siya, then virtual, virtual and erect din siya. So, yun yun na pag-aralan natin about the ray diagram. Also, we discuss the uses on and applications of convex and concave mirror as well as the lenses. Kung saan ginagamit ito sa sasakyan, sa stores, sa mall, 
Even, even sa den, mga dentist, ginagamit itong mga to. Malaking tulong o araw-araw, ginagamit natin ang application ng convex and concave mirror at ganun din ang convex and concave lens. lens. So, back to you, Ma'am Mirna. Okay, thank you, Sir Ronnie. Okay, so this time naman, we'll be discussing, as mentioned earlier, no? we will be discussing about motors and generators. Okay, to start with... Yes, <laughs> Okay, welcome again. This is your science terrific time. So for today's, uh, for this week's lesson, we have motors and generators. Mamirna, parang hindi ko ma-imagine ma ang buhay ko ngayon kung wala ang mga ito. Motors and generator. Lalo na sa summer, kung walang electric fan. Sino bang mabubuhay ng uh, walang electric fan pag summer ngayon ano dito sa Pilipinas. Yes, Ma'am Jen, napakahirap Oo. talaga niyan, napakainit. Yes. At hindi lang 'yon, marami pa mamaya mapapag-aralan natin kung saan ba ginagamit ang mga motors and generators at ano ba ang mga ito. Okay? So umpisahan na natin. We have first electric motors. So what are electric motors? Kung nakinig kayo kanina doon sa RBI natin, uh, nasabi doon na It uses or converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to produce a turning effect or it causes something to rotate, no? So when you say electric motor, it is a device. So an example jan picture jan sa kanan electric fan. So ang electric fan gumagamit siya ng electrical energy from the source. So kung sinaksak mo yung electric fan mo, that's the source is AC, ano? Ayan. Meron kasing dalawa. So alternating current 'yon kung sinaksak mo sa may outlet. Okay, then uh, yung kanyang LC ay mapapaikot. So yun na yung tinatawag nating mechanical energy. So from electrical energy it converts It is converted to mechanical energy by an electric motor. Yes, diba? so, so most motors are powered using direct current or DC. Ito yung produced by cells and batteries. Okay, so kung kung gumagamit siya ng battery, yun ay nanggaling sa direct current, ano? Um, but most are powered by mains electricity use alternating current. So, these motors use electromagnets rather than permanent magnets. When you say electromagnets, these are non-magnet uh, but they are induced. So, halimbawa dyan, uh, yung, kare, uh, yung mga wires or yung mga, uh, yung mga wires na ginawa nilang uh, magnets because of yung pinag-coil nila, then pinadaanan nila ng current. So, nagiging electromagnet kasi yun. Mamaya makikita nyo yun. Okay, so what are the parts of electric motor and their function, Ma'am Mirna? Okay, so thank you, Ma'am Jen. The parts of an electric motor are the following. Yeah, number one, we have the power source. A simple motor usually has a direct, direct current power source. It supplies power to the motor armature or field coils. The power source can be powered by uh, both direct current sources such as batteries or rectifiers as, as mentioned a while, a while back by Ma'am Jen and of course by alternating current or AC sources such as power grid, inverters and electrical generators. Okay, we have also the commutator. Okay, mamaya ipapakita to. I-demo mamaya natin yan ni Sir Prince and Sir Ronnie. Okay, so commutator, it is the rotating and interface of the armature coil with a stationary circuit. Okay, it is a rotary electrical switch in certain types of electric motors and generators that periodically reverses the current direction between the rotor and external circuit. Mamaya, mas may papaliwanag po yan with the principles behind no kung paano nagwo-work ang ating mga electric motors and generators and sabi ko nga po my dear um, grade 10 learners wag kayong aalis dahil mamaya meron tayong simulation of how an electric motor works okay number three, field mag magnet okay the magnetic field helps to produce a torque on the rotating armature coil by virtue of Fleming's left hand rule okay mamaya i-explain din yan ano? 
So an electric motor converts electrical energy into physical movement. An electric motor generates magnetic fields with electric current through a coil. The magnetic field then causes a force with a magnet that causes movement or spinning that runs the motor. Okay, next ma'am Jen. Ayan, number four, we have the armature core. It holds the armature coil in place and provides mechanical support. Also, we have armature coil. It helps the motor to run. Okay, or sometimes it is called stator. It is a copper winding located around the main axis and it generates a magnetic field around the rotor. It is composed of iron plates wrapped by copper connected to a current source. Sabi ko nga po, makikita natin lahat yan mamaya. And we have also the brushes. It is a device that conducts current between stationary wires and moving parts, most commonly the rotating shaft. Okay? Um, brush, uh, it is a copper brush that will connect a electric current source with a coil rotor. It is attached to a small rotor located at the end of main rotor. The friction that occurs will allow the current flow in the same direction even though the rotor rotates so that the rotation can be synchronous and continuous. So those are the parts and the functions of uh, of each part of the electric motor. Ma'am Jen, ayan, nabanggit na po natin what is an electric motor. We have also discussed um, the function and the parts. No? Now, the question is, what is the working principle behind an electric motor? Okay, so basically, simple lang, simple lang po ang uh, working principle ng isang electric motor. Ito ay nakadepende sa kanyang current carrying conductor at... Uh, which produces a magnetic field around it. Okay, so the working of an electric motor is based on the fact that a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field around it. Okay, so kung makikita, makikita nyo mamaya na ang electric motor ay may mga current carrying conductor. Ito yung mga wires na nakakoil doon sa, sa motor. Okay, and this... Uh, current carrying conductor uh, may current na sila no conductor sila kung wala pa pag mag, may current na dumaan sa kanila they produce a uh, magnetic field around it so eto para mas maintindihan imagine natin tong situation ano so take two bar magnets and keep the poles facing each other with a small place in between okay may space doon magkarap sila no then now, take a small length of a conducting wire and make a loop. So keep this loop in between the space between the magnets such that it is still within the sphere of influence of the magnets. Now for the last bit, connect the ends of the loop to battery terminal. So may, may, dalawang, bat, ay, may dalawang magnets ka. Then sa gitna niya, may nakakoil na wire. Then yung nakakoil na wire is i connect mo siya sa uh, battery. So, meron na siyang input ng uh, current. Ano? So, pag nadaanan ng current yun, anong mangyayari yung wire natin? Once electricity flows through your simple circuit, you will notice that your loops or your loop moves. Okay? Pa bakit siya gumalaw? Okay. Why does this happen? Okay. Na, naka underline dyan is the magnetic field of the magnets interferes with that produces due to electric current flowing in the conductor. So, ang basic principle natin dito mga anak is napag-aralan nyo, I think, grade 8, yung opposite poles attract and then ah, and then like poles repel. repel. Okay, so dito, nagkakaroon ng interference. So, Usually kapag uh, nag-flow yan ano yung magnetic field ng magnet and then yung na-produce na magnetic field din nung nung current carrying coil natin is mag ano sila magre-repel sila once na nag-repel yon magtutulakan yon okay yun yung magkukos ng uh, rotating motion okay so since the loop has become a magnet 
one side of it will be attracted. Doon sa other side, ma-attract siya. So, pumunta siya doon, ano, ma-attract siya kasi doon. Tapos, yung isa na naman ma-attract doon. Then, yun nga, yung, sa north, uh, north yung pole. sa polarity nila. Kakaroon na interference. So, this causes the loop to continuously rotate. This is the principle of Elect, oh, this is the working principle of electric, electric motor. Yun yung makikita natin mamaya. Okay, so yan no. So dito sa ating illustration, ayan, nakakonek siya sa battery. Tapos may wire dito sa gitna. Ayan yung mga mga magnets sa, sa magkabila. Okay, then dahil nakaproduce nga siya ng magnetic field, so magro-rotate na siya dyan because of the interference of their magnetic fields. Okay, so saan naman ginagamit ang electric motor natin, Ma'am Mirna? Okay, actually, yun nga, sabi ka na ni Ma'am Jen, we cannot live without this, no? At, at oh. present. <laughs> Kasi yes. uh, napaka-comfortable na, convenient na ng buhay natin. Because of this, yung mga inventions ng, ayan, science, and one of these is the electric motor. Okay, so electric motors are used in variety of applications. Some of them, okay, yung pe-present namin ngayon ay some, ano? only some of them. Okay, we have number one, drills. Ayan. A trigger switch activates an electric motor which in turn drives a rotating chuck. Okay, numerous accessories can fit into the chuck allowing the drill to bore holes. Ayan, drive screws. And uh, a wide variety of materials. Siguro alam natin yan, very familiar sa atin ang um, pag-drill. Yan, we have also water pumps. Okay, ito sa San Mariano. Okay, very applicable to. Kasi doon wala kaming arwasa. Okay, so deep well lang siya. And kung gusto mo at uh, kaya naman, pwede tayong magpalagay ng mga water pumps. Okay, so the most common type of motors used in water well and water works is the induction motor. Okay, and then we have also the hard disk drives. Ayan, it is an electromechanical data storage device that stores and retrieves digital data using magnetic storage and one or more rigid rapidly rotating platters created with magnetic material. Okay, so gamit na gamit ang ating electric motor. Of course, yes, ma'am. Of course, the washing machine. Favorite taga ni ma'am Jento. Okay, ayan. The motors of traditional washing machines, usually called brush motors, are equipped with copper wires on the rotor that act as electromagnets and are powered precisely by sliding brushes or rather graphite sticks that press, activating them on the contact. Ma uh, contacts mounted on the engine shaft. Okay, so gamit na gamit ang washing machine. Sino pa ba ang gustong maglaba ng mano-mano ngayon, di ba? Ayan, and of course, electric motors are widely used in many industrial equipment. Okay, so those are some of the uh, applications of electric motor. Yes, marami pang iba. Marami pang iba. Ayan, electric fan, mga ganyan. Ito yung drill. Ayan, yes, ayan. Okay. Tapos, ano itong isa? Fan ba yan? O oh, LEC. Ayan. <laughs> ayan. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, how do we increase motor strength? Ito yeah. ang tanong. Would the same strength motor be used in both, both of these? these? Ayan yung dalawang oh. yan. Okay. Kasi magkaiba naman sila ng gamit, di ba? Yes, so, ma'am. So, parang hindi. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, paano nga ba natin increase ang strength ng ating electric motor? We have three uh, ways. ways on how to increase the strength. First is increase the current flowing through the coil. Ayan. Okay. Mas mataas yung current na, na dumadaan dun sa coil, mas malakas yung kanyang magnetic field. Yes, ma'am. The, the more number of coils, the greater the magnetism generated and this will certainly affect the speed of the motor. The, then the increase... Increase the strength of the magnet. Mamaya, ipapakita ito nila Sir Ronnie and Sir Prince. Pag ano bang mangyayari pag na-increase yung strength ng magnet. And number three, we have the increase the number of coils on the... Uh, number of turns on, on the, the coil. Ito yung sabi ni Ma'am Mirna, mas maraming loop or coil yung ating 
um, wires. Oh, usually, ano to eh, copper wire ang ginagamit natin. Ano? Yun, mas maraming turns yon or coil yon mas malakas yung kanyang strength ng motor. Yeah, okay. So, doon na tayo magtatapos sa electric motor. We now have elect uh, generators. Okay. So, mag maraming salamat, Ma'am Jen at Ma'am Mirna. Actually, itong generator and motor, almost the same lang siya. Ang pagkakaiba lang talaga is yung principle behind the motors and generators. Pero, in terms of their parts, almost the same. So, by the way, punta mo tayo dito sa kung ang motors kanina, ano principle, Ma'am? Electromagnetism, nag-work siya. Ito naman ay yes. electromagnetic yes. induction. So, ano ba ito na tatawa ating electromagnetic induction? When current flows through a wire held in a magnetic field, a force is created that moves the wire. The opposite is also possible. If a wire is moved across a magnet field, a current is produced. This is called electromagnet. So, makikita mo pansin niyo diyan sa yeah, sa PowerPoint natin kapag nagmi-move po natin yung wire through magnet and through magnet na yan, makakapag makakapag-produce po tayo ng current. Ang tawag po diyan ay electromagnetic induction. Induction also occurs in, if a magnet is moved in a coil of wire. Mamaya meron yung big a eh, picture diyan. Or if a coil is wire rotates in a magnetic field. In all these methods of inducing current, the wire and the magnetic field move perpendicular to each other. If they move parallel to each other, no current is induced. Right, ma'am? So, ito yung... Oh, ito po yan. Kung may replay lang po natin sa kanya yan, meron po tayong loop of wire, then meron tayong bar, of ma bar magnet. Kapag minumove po natin yung bar of magnet dyan sa, sa coil of wire, so makakapag-produce siya ng current. Next, ma'am. So, katulad sa nabi ko kanina, almost the same parts po ang ang motors and generators. So, bago natin discuss yung parts ng generators and motors, i-define mo muna natin kung ano yan tatawag nating generator. If the motor converts electrical energy into um, mechanical energy, Ano naman itong electric generator? So when we're talking about generator, a generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. This is the opposite function of electric motor. O kapag may brand out, karamihan, pag inisya natin, brand out, kailangan natin ng generator. So napakahalaga ng generator. Without generator, medyo... Medyo mahirap-hirap tayong mag ma mabuhay o hindi convenient yun para anong pamumuhay natin kasi napakahalaga ng generator lalo sa production ng mga sa mga power plant so napakahalaga ng generator Power stations use generator to produce electricity Sinabi ko na, kasasabi ko lang yan Power stations use generators to produce electricity on large scale Mechanical energy is provided by rot rotating turbines that can provide powered by High pressure the steam in, in coal, oil, gas, nuclear stations, in wind or wind turbines, in falling water, in hydroelectric power stations. So without this generate uh, without generators, definitely wala tayo mga gamit ngayon na kuryente. Kasi napakahalaga na yan. Kasi karamihan ng malalaking uh, sources natin ng kuryente, gumagamit talaga ng generator. So let's have the parts. So, parts din parts ng, ng motor siyan. So, isa-isa lang natin. The armature. The part of an AC generator which which the voltage is produced is known as the armature. This is the component primarily consists of coil of wire. So, napapalibutan ito ng, ng wire that are large enough to carry full load of current of the generator. So, makikita natin kung mapapansin nyo sa mga dyan, mayroon napapalibutan sila ng wire. Pero nasisira, yung ko rin, yung binibenta yung mga wire kasi nga siya, uh, copper wire siya. So, the rotor. The rotor is the rotating component of the generator. is known as the rotor. The generator, generator's prime mover drives the rotor. 
and distator. The stator is the stationary part of AC generator. The stator core comprises of lamination steel, alloys of magnetic iron to min minimize the eddy current losses, and the slip rings. Slip rings are electrical connections used to transfer power to and from the rotor of an AC generator. They are typically designed to conduct the flow of current from a stationary device of the rotating one. So, yun yung mga parts niya. So, what is the principle behind electric I will not electric generator. Okay, electric generator. So, I'm sorry, that is electric generator. The electric generator works in the principle of electromagnetic induction. So, sinabi natin yung kanina. Electricity is generated by rotating a coil inside a magnetic field. Electric generators works on the principle of electric magnetic, magnetic induction. The conductor coil or the copper coil tightly wound, wound onto the metal, metal core is rotated rapidly between the poles of the horseshoe type magnet. The conductor coil along with its core is known as an armature. The armature is connected to the shaft of mechanical source such as motor and rotated. The mechanical energies required can be provided by the engines operating on fuel such as diesel, petrol, natural gas, or via renew renewable energy sources. When the coil rotates, it cuts the magnetic field which lies between the two poles of the magnet. The magnetic field will interfere the electrons in the conductor to induce the flow or the current inside it. So, may model tayo ng electric generator dyan mamaya. So, paano tayo makapag-increase or kung kanina meron tayong paraan, how to increase the, the strength of the electric motor, dito naman, how to increase the size of the induced current. So, ang tanong, how can we say, how can, how can the size of induced current be increased? So, number one, Increase the speed at which the coil rotates. Number two, increase the strength of the magnetic field. So, palakas natin yung magnetic field. Number three, increase the number of turns in the coil. So, mas maraming dyan, coil ay ikot ng wire, mas malakas yun in this current. So, kapag meron yung face-to-face -face natin karamihan, ginagawa natin yung so, in, in this magnet, yung tayo doon, pako, sa ating pinapalibutan ng, ng wire, then yung battery, yung battery, di ba, kasi ginagawa mag induce magnet, ay ginagawa natin ganun. Mas maraming, mas maraming coil, mas malakas yun, magnet niya. So, increase the number of turns in the coil, then increase the total area of the coil. In the power station generator, an electromagnet is often used as this can provide a stronger magnetic field than possible with permanent magnet. So, yun tatawag po natin, o yan yung concept natin sa generator. So, pupunta tayo sa video ng setup ng motor. Uh, Inintay natin si Sir Dennis. <laughs> Dahil si Sir Dennis po ang magbibigyo. <laughs> ha? Videographer. Okay, so para sa ating demo, meron tayo dito yung tinatawag natin na uh, model ng isang generator at pwede rin maging motor. So mag-start tayo dun sa demonstration kung paano gagana ito as generator. Kaya alam natin na ang generator, it converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Kagaya nito, pag brand out, uh, pwede natin paikutin, paganahin itong generator by converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. So, uh, makikita natin na may kuryente kasi nagpa-flash yung, uh, yung bulb natin. Mayroon siyang ilaw. So, kapag uh, hindi tayo nag-input nag ng mechanical energy, wala ding kuryente. Okay, papalitan natin ngayon itong bulb. Palitan natin ng voltmeter para mas accurate, mas sensitive ang measurement natin, voltmeter. 
Okay, ano na nga ba ulit yung working principle ng isang generator? Kasasabi lang yun ni Sir Ronnie kanina, that's electromagnetic induction. So, gusto lang natin i-diin ano, kung ano ang electromagnetic induction. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito na kapag ang isang loop of wire ay uh, nakarana siya ng changing magnetic field, uh, pwedeng mag-induce ng current. Kagaya nito. Okay? Uh, gumagalaw yung uh, hand ng ating voltmeter. So, kapag nag gumalaw yan, ibig sabihin may na-induce tayong kuryente. O, meron tayong tatlong basic ingredients o requirements para gumana ang isang generator. Una, kailangan natin ng loop of wire. Deep, sir. Loop of wire. Ito yung loop of wire natin. Meron siyang iron core. So, generally ang tawag dito, loop of wire with the iron core, yan ay yung armature. Okay, pangalawang requirement natin para gumana ang ating generator ay kailangan natin ng magnetic field. At yung magnetic field ay nanggagaling sa ating mga magnets. So, meron tayong magnets dito. Yung red is the north pole of the magnet. Yung blue one is the south pole of the magnet. At yung pangatlong ingredient ay kailangan natin ng changing magnetic field. Kaya itong armature ay connected sa shaft. At yung shaft ay connected dun sa ating propeller. So, itong propeller natin, o yung magpapaikot sa armature natin, pwedeng yung makina, diesel engine, o kaya naman kapag gusto natin ng renewable energy sources, pwedeng running water ang magpapaikot dito. O kaya naman yung ginagamit dito malapit sa atin, dyan sa Laswerte, uh, gumagamit sila ng biomass as fuel. Oo, fuel. Kasi free energy yung mga yun at saka renewable pa yun ang ginagamit nila. Okay, ulitin natin ano yung tatlong basic requirements para gumana ng isang generator. Kailangan natin ng loop of wire. Yun yung tinatawag natin na armature. Kailangan natin ng magnetic field. So, meron tayong permanent magnet dito. Dito nang gagaling ang ating magnetic field. At kailangan natin ng changing magnetic field. Kailangan umikot ito kaya uh, itong armature ay connected sa shaft sa, at saka sa propeller or something na magpapaikot sa armature natin. So, kapag umikot kasi yan, nakaka-experience yung armature ng changing magnetic field. Pero kapag hindi gumagalaw yan, walang change in magnetic field. Okay? So now, let's discuss ano yung mga factors na pwedeng mag-affect dun sa induced current natin. Una is the rate of change in magnetic flux or in short, pag mas mabilis yung pag-ikot ng armature ay mas malakas din yung kuryente na maproproduce natin. So tignan natin dito. Ayan, mabagal lang. So, ang induced voltage natin ay nasa 1 volt lang. Pero kapag bibilisan ko, pag mas mabilis, uh, tumataas yung induced voltage natin, nagiging 2. Pag mas mabilis pa, nagiging 3. So, yun yung isang factor natin ha. Uh, yung rate of change in magnetic flux. Pag mas mabilis yung pag-ikot uh, pag ng armature, mas mataas din yung induced current or yung induced voltage natin. Pangalawang factor ay yung lakas ng magnet. So, kapag papalitan natin ito ng mas malakas na magnet, ah, mas mataas din yung may induce natin na kuryente. At pangatlo ay yung, yung wire natin, coil of wire natin. So, pwede, paano natin nalakasan yung induce current? Pwede damihan pa natin yung loop of wire. Pag mas madaming loop of wire ay mas, mala, mas malakas yung kuryente na may induce natin. So, pwede namang lakihan natin yung area niya, yung pagkalup ng wire na yan. So, kapag ganun, lalakas din yung kuryente. O kaya naman, uh, gawin natin mas malapad yung loop of wire. So, pag mas malapad yon mas tataas din yung may induce natin na kuryente. Okay, next. Meron tayong tinatawag na AC and DC generator. Anong pagkakaiba ng AC and DC generator? So, from the name itself, ano ba kasing ibig sabihin ng AC, Ma'am Mirna? Alternating current, sir. Okay, so yung AC generator, ang naproproduce niya na kuryente ay alternating current. Eh, yung DC naman, anong ibig sabihin ng DC, Ma'am Jennifer? Direct current, sir. Oo, tama. That's direct current. So kapag sinabi nating DC generator, yung nai-induce niya na kuryente ay uh, DC current. Ngayon, itong generator model na to, pwede siyang maging AC, pwede itong maging AC generator, pwede rin maging DC generator. Okay, so ngayon mag-focus tayo dun sa daloy ng kuryente. Kapag positive yung reading natin, 
or isa yung direction ng galaw ng uh, ng ating hand ng voltmeter natin DC current yan or DC voltage yan oh, so DC ngayon gawin natin AC ang pagkakaiba lang ng AC at DC generator ay yung orientation ng kanyang uh, commutator ito yung commutator at ito yung brushes niya yun lang ang pagkakaiba so kung i -re orient natin ito tong commutator at brushes niya at gawin natin ulit yon, i-observe natin mabuti yung kanha, yung changes ng hand ng voltmeter natin. Okay? Di ba kanina, nandito lang? Dito lang yung galaw ng hand niya. Sa positive the reading lang natin. Pero ngayon, uh, alternating na. Nagiging positive, uh, nagiging negative. So, alternating. Ang na-induce ngayon natin na current ay tinatawag na AC current. Kasi nagbabago yung direction niya. Alternating current. AC current. Okay? So, itong generator ngayon na ito ay tinatawag na AC generator. Bakit? Kasi yung na-induce niya ay AC current. Okay? So, yun lang ang pagkakaiba ng AC and DC generator. Yung orientation lang ng brushes niya at saka ng commutator niya. So, tapos na tayo sa generator ngayon. Uh, demo naman natin ngayon. Paano ito magwo-work as motor? Okay, habang tinatanggal ko yung ibang parts nito na hindi na natin kailangan, uh, ano ba ang ginagawa ng motor, Sir Ronnie? Okay. Kino-convert niya yun? Kino-convert niya yung motor, yung mechanical into, ay electrical into mechanical motion. Okay, so gagamit tayo ng kuryente from electrical energy magiging mechanical energy. So kailangan natin ng... Para gumana ang isang electric motor, kailangan natin ng uh, loop of wire na may dumadaloy na kuryente. O kaya yung current uh, carrying wire. Loop of wire na may dumadaloy na kuryente. Or current carrying wire. So saan manggagaling ang current natin? Dito manggagaling. Ang tawag natin dito ay voltage or power source. Pwedeng AC or DC yung pa, yung power natin. Pwede nating uh, i-change yon into AC and DC. Okay. So yun yung unang requirement natin ha para gumana isang motor. Kailangan natin ng loop of wire na may dumadali na kuryente. Pangalawang requirement natin ay dapat yung loop of wire na yon ay nasa magnetic field. Within na magnetic field. Kaya meron tayong magnet dito to supply us the magnetic field. Kung walang magnet, hindi rin gagana ang isang motor. Okay, so subukan natin ha. I-power up natin. On. So DC muna. And then, uh, lakasan natin yung kuryente. Okay, yan. So, meron ang dumadali na kuryente dun sa loop of wire kasi naka-on na itong power source natin. At yung, yung current carrying wire ay nasa within mag the magnetic field supplied by this permanent magnet. So, nasatisfy natin yung dalawang requirement kaya gumagana na ngayon itong uh, electric motor natin. So, from electrical energy, napapaikot niya itong uh, shaft natin, napoconvert niya into mechanical energy. Ngayon, Uh, ano yung mga uh, factors na pwedeng mag-affect dun sa, dun sa strength ng mechanical energy na pwede nating ma maging output dito sa motor? Una ay yung kuryente. Pag mas malakas yung kuryente na dumadaloy, uh, mas bibilis din yung pag-ikot nito. Kaya subukan natin ha. Ano na yung reading natin, Sir Dennis? That's 6 volts. So, taasan natin yung kuryente, i-observe natin kung anong mangyayari dito sa armature. Okay? Bumilis, di ba? So, pag mas taas yung dumadali na kuryente, mas bibilis din yung pag-ikot ng ating motor. Yan. Okay? Maliban doon sa amount ng current na dumadali sa motor natin, uh, pwede rin maka-affect yung strength ng magnet. Pag mas malakas yung magnet, syempre, uh, mas mabilis din yung pag-ikot niyan. At saka yung loop, number of loops natin. Pag mas madaming loop, mabibilis din yan. 
pag mas wider yung mga loops natin, bibilis din yan. Tsaka pag mas malaki yung area ng loop natin, cross-sectional area ng loops natin, uh, bibilis din yan. Okay, so ganun gumagana ang generator at electric motor. Okay. So, I, I think ma'am Mirnan, ma'am Jen, na-reach natin objective natin na to explain the oper the simple operation of motors and generators. Generator. So napakaganda ng demonstration ng surface tungkol sa motors and generators. Generators, 'di ba Ma'am Jenna na Mirna? Yes sir, napakagaling po, napakaganda. Ayun ah, dear learners, nakita ninyo ha? Very uh, clear yung pag-explain kanina ni Sir Prince. Okay. And kung nagkataon lang na face-to-face -face ngayon, kayo mismo ang mag operate sana niyan after uh -huh. ng simulation or demonstration. Uh -huh. So, tingnan natin, sabalikan natin yung tawag dito, yung, yung pag-aral natin doon kanina. So, mapapansin natin, ang process involved between, oh, doon mo natin sa definition niya. When we're talking about motor, it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. While generator, it converts electric mechanical energy into electrical energy. When we're talking about the process involved, pag sa motor, electromagnetism. Pero kapag generator naman, ay electromagnetic induction. So yung energy conversion na banggit natin kanina yan pag motor electrical to mechanical energy while in generator mechanical to electrical energy so kung ano yung function naman o yung mga basic parts niya what is the function of armature sa motor kapag sa motor ang function naman ng armature it produces the turning effect kapag generator naman it produces electric current due to electromotive force. So, ano ang function ng, ng brushes na dinis sa surface kanina? Ang function naman ng brushes pagdating sa DC motor, transfer DC to commutator. While in AC generator, transfer AC to external output. So, yun yung summary ng dinis ni surface. Back to you, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Sir Ronnie. Ayan, so, okay. Ayan, siguro napakaliwanag ng lahat-lahat sa ating mga learners, ano? Ayan, okay, so, to check yung kanilang understanding. Okay, sige, magbibigay tayo ng... Magpapakomment tayo. Oo, magpapakomment kami, ha? Para ma-check din natin kung nandyan pang ating mga... Grade 10 learners. Ayan, lalo na yung mga 10 sinagtala. Ayan, shout out. 10 sinagtala. Obra, SPJ. O, andyan pa ba, Ma'am Chen? Oo, andyan pa sila. Okay. Ah, sige, I will give the definition of a term and you comment kung ano ito, no? Ayan. I-hide mo yan, Ma'am Chen. Pwede ko na ba i-hide? Okay. Ah, sige. Okay. Ayan. Okay, paki-comment ang inyong mga sagot, ha, mga anak. Okay, magbibigay daw si Sir Roni ng load. Okay. Ayan, sige. Okay, sige. Ako na muna, Ma'am Jen. Ayan. Okay, it refers... Makikita kasi nila, pwede bang... <laughs> Sir Jashiel, pwede bang i-stop muna natin yung ating uh, PowerPoint presentation? Oo, i-ano na natin? Ayan. Exit mo na. Ayan. Okay. Ah, dalawa. Okay, sige. Ah, sige, ako mamimili. Okay. <laughs> Okay, it it uh this works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Okay, ano kaya ito? Napakadali ah. Sige, ulitin mo 'yung tanong, ma'am. Okay. It works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. 
Word. Comment your section and your answer. Okay, section and then your answer. Okay, we're in the electricity is generated by rotating a coil inside a magnetic field. Ayan, ano kaya ito? Ayan, may sumagot na ma'am. Ayan, ayan. Okay, yung pinakauna na nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Ayan. Ay from from Ten Einstein. Einstein. Okay, ang kanyang sagot ay generator. Okay, tama ba, Sir Ronnie? Okay, tama ma'am. Okay, congrats. Sino sabi teacher nila? I think Sir Prince. Uh, Einstein. Einstein. Okay. okay. Sir Prince yun. Number. Number. Yes, Jairo Emanuel from 10 Einstein. Okay, so if electric generator works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, how about the electric motor? Okay. Yon, question number two natin. Okay, question number two, I repeat. What is the working principle of Electric motors. Ayan. Sige, comment na po. Oo, may price din kayong load galing kay Sir Ronnie. Okay, kay Santa Claus. Yes. Wala pa? Wala pa? Comment yeah. na yung mga sagot. Mm -hmm. Wala pa rin? Wala pa rin, ma'am. Ayan. <laughs> Wala na ba? Hindi, dyan pa sila, Sir. Marami pa. Christmas, yung anong ano Pasko. Ay, 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 <laughs> yung bilang ng viewers natin ayan, ay meron, Pasko. Meron, meron, meron na ayan, meron nang sumagot. Okay, from 10, Rutherford. Okay, Cy de la Cruz. The answer is electromagnetism, sir. Tama po ba? Okay, correct. Meron din mga sumagot, ano? Oo, marami, marami din, ma'am. Pero nauna lang talaga si Sai. Ako ang subject teacher nila, Sai Pakipiem, ang number, kasi ako ang subject teacher nila. Ah, okay. Wow, meron ka ng load. Galing kay Sir Ronnie. Okay, so yun mga anak, napaka-important na nung dalawang tanong na yun. Kapag alam na ninyo yan, and naiintindahan natin yung concept behind those principles, kaya natin ipaliwanag kung paano ba nag-work ang electric motor and generator which are very ano applicable sa ating buhay no sa ating araw yes araw-araw na pamumuhay kasi kahit saan ka tumingin no halos lahat ng appliances natin ayan ay nagraran or nag-use ng electric motor or motor okay so wala na, may tanong pa ba? Ang ito ang ating last week for yes. shift 2, di ba? Yes, ma'am. Uh, any reminder sa ating mga sudyante? Uh, Sir Ronnie, ikaw muna. Okay, sa mga, o oh, kasi sa mga hawak kong grade 10, sigurado hindi sila nakapagpasa ng summary ng RBI and love discussion nila. Kasi ngayon pa lang. Ngayon pa lang ngayon. So please, sa mga may kakayanan mag-online, submit online. Ah. Uh, uh, Follow the format na binigay ko doon sa GC natin. Lagi ako nag-remind kung ano yung format ko sa CDN. Please sundin yung format na yan. Mahalaga pa lagi kung sila yung script writer, with the teacher, Okay, yes, and ga gamitin na rin natin yung pagkakataon na ito, no? Para i-remind sila, Paskong Pasko, pero nag-remind tayo. Ang alam ko kasi mag-start na starting tomorrow, uh, uh, Saturday, I should say, uh, Christmas vacation. Pero kahit na po nasa Christmas vacation tayo, re-remind ko lang, my dear learners, yung mga <laughs> locking requirements natin, baka hindi nyo pa naipasa kaninang uh, retrieval, please, pakihabol, pakisubmit na rin online para talagang merry ang ating Christmas. Para ma-enjoy natin ang ating yes. holiday season. Yan. Yan o, ipasa laging... na muna yung mga kailangang ipasa. Yes. Hang oh, may hanggang bukas pa kayo. Ay, wala. Hangga, basta ihabol natin and make sure mga anak na ginagawa nating lahat yung ating learning task para sa, sa, sa lahat yan. Walang stress sa inyong part, wala rin stress sa part ng ating mga subject teachers. Yes, para happy ang New Year. Oo, mayroon maghabol. 
<laughs> wag, nyo, wag nyo nang subukan. <laughs> okay, so that ends our session. Session talaga, no? Scientific time this uh, this week. And sabi nga ni Ma'am Jen, this is our last week for shift to And shift ito, one, ano, quarter two. Yes. Yes, wala na. Ah, uh, ibang wala subject pero sa science parang oh. last kayo, no? Okay. Yes. So, sabi ko nga, gawin nating merry ang Christmas at happy ang New Year. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that ends and see you next year. Ayan, Merry Christmas po and sa ating New lahat. Year. next year. Physics, Chemistry, Earth Science, Biology, Biochemistry, Environmental Science. These are some branches of science. Science is about a whole lot more than that. And to sum it up, we believe That science is the way of helping the brain grow in finding new knowledge and help us defeat our curiosity and how the world develops and works today. Science, this is your class, and this is science. And now, here is your host for the day. Before I'm 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radio, hadik namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapagmaga, tanghali o hapon manyan, ang istasyong magbibigay impormasyon kahit sa man. Big, 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 for something big. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Sonia Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This 106.3 DWBR FM.